Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, please feel free to go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. And uh, on today's episode, we're gonna pick back up on part four of our center console build. So stick with me if you'd like to see how we do it. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do, be doing is we're gonna be marking out for our uh, where we want our cup holders to go right here. Uh, so I've been thinking, and I kinda like the idea of them over to one side right here, that way if I wanna put any buttons or switches in, I can put them in along this side right here. Uh, so I think that's about what we're gonna go for right here. All right, so in order to get this marked out right here, what I'm gonna do is uh, on the bottom of these cups that has this round double-sided sticky tape, which it's not that sticky. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this out a little bit here and I'm gonna use this as a template to mark out where the holes are gonna go on the, uh, on the board right here. Alright guys, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out uh, where I'm going to cut this out for my shifter, because uh, this is going to sit down into here a little bit. Uh, so my thought process is on this is I'm going to measure out the base of this towards the inside of it, and then I'm going to cut it out and uh, see if I can kind of get this to slide down around it right here. That way I still have my shifter boot on here, uh, and that way it, it, uh, it just sits around the, the shifter boot right here. Uh, this piece will have to be removable, uh, as well as this piece right here. When I go to install this uh, console in here, uh, this is in the way, uh, as well as this will be in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount them with a magnetic catch uh, underneath of them, uh, so that way I can slide it on it. So from what I'm looking at right here, so the inside dimensions on this right here, I'm looking at is right around four inches or so, give or take a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four inches and then I'm going to take the length, which from what it looks like right here is right around five inches or so. Okay. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and cut this a little bit, maybe smaller than that, uh, five inch, uh, five inches right there. I'm going to try and maybe go like four and I think I'm at like three quarters is what I'm, is what I was looking at right here. For about four and three quarters, I'm going to cut out a section in the middle right here, and I'm going to slide it down and see how that works. If I need to, I can always open it up a little bit more, but uh, I figure I can always take material off. Uh, I can't add it back in, so uh, we'll start small and we'll, we'll work our way up to that. All right, so my lens right at about two inches right here, so I'm going to just drag this across and uh, transfer the, uh, the mark. All right, so we got our bottom line going across right here, and then now we'll check our top line. So it looks like our top line, we're at about an inch and three quarters. So we'll go ahead and we'll do an inch and three quarters across the top here. All right, so we got our two lines right here in the middle. Uh, now we can measure our width across, and then we can cut out the center section and see how it fits. All right, now I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and come in about an inch on each side, and we'll try that and see how that gets us right here. Now, an inch down here is gonna be a little bit wider up here because the piece kind of tapers out that way. Uh, so up here, it works out to about an inch and a quarter. So again, we'll, we'll cut this out and we'll see how it works. Uh, worst case, if it doesn't work, we can always cut out a new piece. All right guys, so I think we got it uh, pretty good right here. We got the uh, centerpiece cut out and uh, this slips over nicely over the shifter area and then uh, it'll just kind of rest right here. 
And uh, as you can see, I can shift it. It's in first gear right now. So when it's in here, I can pull it back and I can shift it and it, it shouldn't affect it. I might need to take a tiny bit off the front right here. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it'll, I think it'll work uh, pretty good for what we're going for. All right, guys, so in order to mount the cup holders, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this piece of scrap wood that I have right here. I'm just gonna run it up even with this front uh, support that I have right here, uh, cause it's gonna rest on that. And then I'm just gonna make a mark across. And then same thing on the other side. All right, and then what I'm gonna try on the, uh, to mount some of these panels right here is I'm gonna try using these uh, magnet catches right here. That way, if I ever need to remove it, I can pop it out of there and change it out or change how it uh, looks if I wanted to. Now on these catches, you have uh, these corners that are bent in right here. Um, so when I pressed this down on top of there, it left a tiny indent right there. So that kind of tells me right where it's gonna land right there. And then what I can do is I can go on ahead and mark it and pre-drill it. All right, so let's see how that works now. Oh yeah, look at that. It doesn't want to budge, which is nice. All right, so we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we can adjust them up and down and make sure they're all tied in pretty good. We'll also do one right here in the front. All right, guys, so it's uh, definitely coming along here. Uh, we just gotta do uh, this back part next, and then we should be good with uh, getting all these trimmed out and put where we want them. All right, guys, so now to install the uh, inside of the center console uh, where the storage area is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna use some pocket holes to uh, attach this from up underneath the, uh, the console. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try and uh, get this to sit right about where I want it to by placing this scrap piece right here in the middle to hopefully kind of rest the middle on on the uh, bottom of the, the run install right here and then we can get it installed and we can screw it down. And then just for reference, I will also take a measurement all the way around just to make sure that we're good. So it's about two inches or so, give or take a little bit. So right here is about two inches, which looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and put a screw in right here. All right guys, so the next thing that I'm gonna do here on the center console is I'm gonna be working on this front panel right here. Uh, I'm going to be installing my uh, sniper uh, handheld uh, unit on, onto this right here. Now, it's not really necessary to have it uh, out and visible all the time, but I kinda like having it out and seeing all the numbers on there that, I'm, that my readings are on them. So, um, I was playing around with it, and I think right here is gonna be the best spot for it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill probably a couple holes in this right here to hold it into this board uh, and then the wire i'm going to drill out a, a piece of the side right here and that way i can tuck the wire in through the side it'll just come come up right through that that spot right there so uh, we're going to give that a shot and see how it works
All right, guys. Uh, now the last step uh, that we're going to be doing here is uh, I think uh, now I'm going to be installing this uh, USB port uh, so I can charge my phone and other stuff right here. So uh, I think I'm just going to pop it in like right about down here in the middle, right below this. Uh, and that'll give me room off to the side if I want to put anything else. But I think probably right about there should be pretty good where we want to where we want to try and install that. All right, guys, uh, so uh, we got our sniper handheld mounted. We got a USB port mounted in here. And uh, for the most part, we've gotten the whole center section uh, built out and attached. Um, the thing that I really like about it is um, the the main sections, the cup holders, the shifter area, uh, as well as up here with my handheld and the USB port, these are all removable. So if down the road, if I wanna change something up or if I don't like how it's working, um, I can just pop out the piece. I can trace it out on a new piece of wood. Uh, refinish it and get it installed back in there again and, and it's good to go. So um, I'm really liking that uh, part about it right here. Uh, I still need to make a, a lid for this right here. Uh, but other than that, um, I think I think we're good. Now we can move on to the uh, finishing the, the centerpieces first. And then once those are done, I'm gonna come back and we'll, uh, we'll wrap this uh, the side pieces right here. So um, still got a little ways to go on this right here. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking around on this. Uh, if you like the video, please like it and give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps out. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.